this is Jim Plough, the um, chairman, or the, I guess the chair of the uh, Accelerated Fit Committee. And I'm going to open the meeting now for around the Tuesday, August 18th, uh, virtual meeting of the Accelerated Repair Committee. I'm going to check for a core first. Um, Mr. Sullivan, are you, avail are you here? I do see that Mr. Sullivan is here. Mr. Thomas, see that you are here? Yes. Um, Mr. Jordan, are you here? Yes. Okay. And I know, excellent. And I know uh, Councillor Azak is uh, unavailable at this time. Uh, so we do have a quorum of, uh, I mean, we have four people. So I'm going to start with the meeting. I'm going to call the meeting to order and ask for a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. I have a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. Mr. Thomas, any discussion on the minutes? Hearing none, I'm going to ask for a roll call vote to accept the minutes. Mr. Sullivan. I believe we have some um, sound issues. He may still be on mute or, no, or self mute. <laughs> Me. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Thomas, you? Yes. Yes. Mr. Jordan? Yes. Okay, and then I'll just wait for Mr. Sullivan. I, I vote yes, so that we, we carry. <laughs> Hello? Tim, are you there? Yeah. All right. Do you um, how, how do you vote on the um, mean, uh, approving the minutes? No, I can hardly hear you. How do you approve on the minutes? How do you vote? Yeah, I mean, Sally, how do you vote on the, um, the motion to approve the minutes? Yes. Okay. That that is a four to zero vote. Um, we approved them. Um, now I'm going to ask for the report by the OPM. Yes, Mike. I was going to call in on the on the landline. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with the computer. I can't hear anything. Is there a? Oh, if you look at the top of your keyboard. Yeah. Is there, is there a? Um, there should be a, a speaker that it looks like it's the volume up. If you hit it. Yeah, I'm hitting it now. I got nothing. There's a line you have to put your um, mouse on it and then, uh, or your finger, whichever, and, and push it all the way up to the right. We'll give you max volume. Mike, was was he talking to me? I didn't get the whole thing. Yeah, that was me, Ozzy. Push, push your, put your, uh, your, your finger, your pointer on the speaker, drag yeah. it up to the far right, and that will give you full volume. Yeah, I can hear you now, Mike. Through the phone, I can't hear nothing on the computer. Okay. Um, Tim, just so you know, if you have your microphone on at the same time as your speaker on your phone, it's going to cause feedback. So, Tim, you got to mute yourself. Okay. Uh, I, I'll, um, yeah. You can call in. That may make it easier. You, Mike, do you want me to call? Yes. Okay. We can we can proceed, Mr. Pluff. All right. Thank you very much. I'm gonna we've approved the minutes from uh, number two. I've called the number one. Called the order. Now I'm gonna get the report from the OPM. Uh, report from the OPM is Don Veloso from Architect and Consulting Group. Uh, there's been no activity on the project. It's in litigation. Uh, remains in litigation. 
Uh, the OPM continues to report to MSBA uh, and answer questions uh, from the, the attorney. I haven't heard from the, uh, the city's attorney in, since the last meeting. Uh, but certainly MSBA inquires about the status of the project on a, on a monthly basis and we report on each school uh, the activity, actually no, no activity, uh, but MSBA requires part of the grant funding that we file a report every month uh, that includes uh, project schedule, any changes, uh, cash flows, anything, anything that's happened with the project. So we have to go through, uh, it's a multi-form sheet and that's uh, what's done. Uh, unaware of any activity uh, by the architect, uh, except that uh, they are involved in the litigation as well. And that's the uh, report of the OPM. Okay, thank you very much, Don. Um, and do we have the architect here for a report by him or would that consist of the same? Yep, I'm here, it's Jay from Time Bond. I'll just echo what, what Don said. Um, the project's currently, the project's complete contract balance was paid to the contractor. Um, so all the work is done. There's really not architectural or engineering work continuing. Um, and it's in litigation, so there hasn't been a lot of, uh, a lot of progress. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Um, now I'll take a, um, we're gonna go on to proceed to number five, the invoice payment requisition review. And I'll just note um, number two of this uh, approval of invoices is for a different project, not, cons uh, not part of this committee. So I'll, um, I'll be removing number two from consideration today. That's the Huntington School re-roof. Um, but for the approval of invoices, we have Architectural Consulting Group Incorporated, um, the invoice ASM 67, 68, and 69, GEC C 61, 62, and 63, and BFE 69 and 70. That's, the total of that is $4,150. Um, I have a motion on the floor to approve these invoices. I move that we approve all of the above mentioned invoices. Do I hear a second? Mr. Jordan did it first. I don't have a second yet. I'm sorry. Mr. I was Thomas? That's okay. Mr. Thomas is. Second in. Oh, Excellent. Uh, Mr. Sullivan did, but that's okay. I, ha I was muted. Sorry. Uh, no problem. Mr. All right. Mr. Sullivan seconded. Um, any discussion on these invoices? Okay. I will take a roll call, a roll call vote to approve. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Mr. Thomas. Yes. Mr. Jordan. Yes. And I approve, I, I vote in the affirmative. That's a four to zero vote for, um, for paying the invoices. It, it passes. We have, um, so we're passing off number two. Um, Mr. Petronio. If I could just for those online that don't, um, don't know why we're passing on it. Uh, this committee was empowered for the four projects that we handled, the, the Barrett Russell, the Brookfield, the Ashfield, and the Gilmore. It wasn't empowered for the Huntington. So I've asked the mayor to um, empower a committee, uh, which hopefully we'll get any day and I'll set up a meeting immediately um, upon that so that we can approve those invoices under the new committee um, that the mayor empowers. So that's why we're putting them off for right now. Thank you, Mr. Patronio. That, um, it's good to know. Um, I guess uh, what's not on the agenda, but I'll throw it out there, is any new business or any new business? I didn't have a new business, but I had just one question uh, on the report that the, I guess, legal department has not, re our legal department has not responded. Don, can you uh, elaborate, Mr. Jordan's benefit, on um, what you had mentioned about the law of the lawyers? No, it's, uh, my, my point was uh, from 
time to time I get calls from the uh, outside counsel, uh, which is Peter Mello, uh, and we just reporting that we respond uh, whenever he has questions, although I have not done that in the last 30 days. I have not heard from Mr. Mello since the last meeting. I spoke to Mr. Mello just the day before yesterday, and he said that right now all he can say is that we're still in mediation. Oh, okay. Good enough. Excellent. Any other thank questions? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jordan. Any other questions or any other business? Well, in that case, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Mr. Jordan, and a second. Oh, is that Mr. Thomas? That was Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan, okay. And awesome. Um, so I'll take a roll call vote. Mr. Sullivan? Yes. Mr. Thomas? Yes. Mr. Jordan? Yes. And I say yes also. So thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank and, you uh, all. Thank you very much. Thank you.